And this is question number 14 on the TN Ready Practice Test for Integrated Math 2. We're in a calculator allowed section, so that's kind of nice. Probably won't need it much here. Um, the question says triangle RSV and triangle UST are similar. That's what this little, line, this little symbol here means. In this case, anyway, it means that they are similar, not congruent, similar. Select the two statements that must be true. And you can see the statements there. I'm going to assume you are okay to read them. Um, this one says, for instance, angle VRS is congruent to angle STU. So I made a couple notes to myself before I even opened this so you didn't have to sit here and watch me um, write them down because it takes longer than you would think with this little pen. Corresponding angles are congruent, and that's probably the worst version of congruence ever, and the angles isn't too great either, but what are you going to do? And corresponding sides are proportional. That's what similarity indicates as opposed to them being equal. So as long as you keep those two things in your head, it makes the things a little bit easier. Also, I know which sides are, or which angles anyway, are corresponding because they've given me a similarity statement. Angle R has to be corresponding with angle U, so that means that this is true. This is a right angle, so it's this. Angle S is corresponding to angle S, so I've got this situation going on. And angle T is corresponding to angle V. Also, I can say that RS should have a proportion with US, SV should have a proportion with ST, and RV and UT similar. So, this says that, ang that triangle uh, STU is a right angle, so we can assess whether that's true or not. And since we said that the angle for R is already marked as a right angle, and angle U is corresponding, and it's a right angle, that makes STU a right triangle. Now, don't get weirded out here. The U does not have to be in the middle. That's not required in any case. It's just naming the triangle. It does not have to be where the middle letter in the name is the right triangle. That's not required. So, M is true. Now, RS is 4 thirds x centimeters in length. So where are we going to get that information? Well, we have to look and see what we have. First off, the 4 thirds thing, that comes from the proportional relationship. Now, we know that RV is corresponding to UT. So we have this over here. So I can say, well, there's a proportion created by those two. And again, this is created by RV over to you. Now SU, which is here, is X. So we can see, does it make any sense even a little bit if that RS itself could be four thirds times that original length? We're doing a billion calculations to get there. I'll just use a kind of comparison that my younger children, my actual kids, will use, which is bigger versus smaller. So we know that 4 thirds is an improper fraction, which would mean this value would actually be more. So we're saying that this is somehow longer than this. So we'd have to be able to justify it. This 3 is smaller than this 4. So this is, the proportion is actually created. So I could actually say that RV is 3 fourths of the size of TV, if I wanted to do that. Let's break TU down into four parts. So let's say this is TU. It's one, two, three, four parts. RV is only three of those. So this side is actually going to be three-fourths of whatever this is, but this statement here says it's bigger, and we know that it's not. This is smaller, so I'm going to say, nope, nope, not, not even a little bit. That must not be true, because Smaller instead of bigger. That's my little kid comparison there. It's not the tightest logic, but, you know, whatever. Um, the next one says angle VRS is, course, or is congruent to STU. Now, in this case, unlike before when we were looking at the triangles, the order of the um, vertices matters a lot, or the order of the points will matter. VRS is a right triangle. S-T-U. Nope. See, 
VRS is this angle here. STU is this angle. They're not the same, so that's out. SV is the same length as ST. Well, I mean, visually you can see that's not true, but you can't really use that. Remember how we said um, this would be the smaller side here, and this would be the larger size here? If they're going to be proportional, it doesn't mean they're going to be congruent. If this were the case, then this number would have to be the same as this one. It's not. This is a larger triangle. So in order to get to this larger distance here and also this larger height, it's going to take you longer to get to ST. So nope, that is out as well. And finally, T. R, V, S plus U, S, T. Now that's interesting. Let's eliminate this a little bit. And I think I made this and this, and then I made this and this. Let's look at what RVS actually is. It's this. UST, interesting, is this. So this is a complementary angle. These two angles make up 90 degrees because a triangle is 180 degrees, and these are the two leftover angles, so if you take out... 90 from 180, you only have 90 left over, so this plus this has to equal 90. And you know how they're marked the same because the corresponding angles are congruent? If I have one that is marked as the complement of the other, then they do have to equal 90, so they are complements. So M and T are the most um, likely answers here, and they're the only ones that are actually true. Now, the middle section is a little fuzzy to make those connections very quickly while you're trying to run through the test. So look for ones that are obviously true. STU being a right triangle, yeah, as long as you marked it in, it's as simple as just looking at it. And if you marked the angles, the last one makes sense too because, oh, well, I have one that's marked with two lines and this is marked with one. And I know that a one line and a two line make 90 so I can get to the answer that I'm looking for. Don't overthink it trying to find some little answer if you're in a hurry. Now, if you have more time, take the time, but if you don't, don't. That's just strategy that you can use on this test because you don't always have forever to finish it. Also, you might wear yourself out near the end, so it's good to save a little time.